Hello and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft progression video. So today we're going to be talking about Realms PE, which just came into beta today and the slots were just opened today. So um, only 200 people, I believe, got into the beta. So it was very limited out of a lot of people who bought it. And basically what happened was Daniel Frisk, who works at the Realms side of Mojang, tweeted, so we released a couple of Realms PE servers. Unfortunately, they were all gone in a blink of a second. So what happened, basically, blink of an eye even. So what happened basically was they opened it up and I believe you could go and if you were lucky enough to check the realm section at the point that they opened it you could go and click join I guess and make a server for yourself so sadly I wasn't one of those very lucky few who did get a server um, and however I did get the chance to be added to a server which was you know the second best thing I guess so I just like to say a big doubt big shout out and a big thank you to MCPE ports who I'll put his Twitter link in the description below and he ports a lot of great MCPE videos and also I'd like to say thank you to all the other people who added me to their servers but some of them were having slight technical issues because it is a bit glitchy at the moment um, which is why they're having it in beta before they actually release it so some stability issues will happen so um since we, I didn't get to get a beta uh, thing, so I'll just show some of his screenshots. Um, however, I did get onto a server and record some videos. So this is the first screenshot, and basically this is the server options screen, so it's called Manage Server. And as you can see, you can change the server name from Survival, or whatever you wanted to call it, and this will allow you to communicate to all the players on the, I guess, thingy majig. And you can name your server for other people, which is quite cool. Then you can also um, open it or close it which is that little slider thing, then you can also invite people on the whitelist. So you see the whitelist hasn't got anybody in it at the moment, I believe. So then the next screen is basically what it looks like if you have the server off. So as you can see the little green button thing is off, and the next screen is when it's on, so as you see the little green button thing is on. And then the next thing is if you join a server which you're not invited to. So I guess this would happen if you have a server that you've been invited to, but then they take you off the invite list. Um, it will display this little menu which is unavailable, unable to join server, check if you're invited. So that's basically all we have on the screenshot side of things. Now I'll play some video of me basically look, joining in. So I joined into his server and he named it Hello Reddit. And as you can see, there's a little zero out of 10 people, which I was a little bit confused at, but basically um, they're not actually displaying how many people are online at the moment, which is a bit annoying. So there's just a few glitches that need to sort out. However, it's looking really great at the moment. And when I played it, it seemed to be all working okay. So it generates the world. Um, and then you just jump right in so it's a really great I don't know experience as you can see there's a load of people online It tells you who's online and I think 10 people is a very good like max size for a server this big Because even on a PC server 10 people would be a good amount of people on a survival server So I'm really glad it is 10 people I think that's really great because the worlds aren't really infinite so you can't really ask for more people so as you can see, I'm typing to everybody, everybody's typing, and Nexi's being really, really annoying. Um, so yes, I'll probably have to block some of that out, because what he said was very, very rude. Bad Nexi. Um, so as you can see, there's no real lag, I just picked up a block. So the, the servers are dedicated, which is why it costs money. So we're going to talk about a bit about the money side, because I know a lot of people will be like, Oh no, it costs money, I can't believe that. Oh my gosh, I don't have that kind of money, it's really annoying. But the thing is, it's a 24-7 dedicated server, which is hosted by Mojang which provides basically no lag for you, depending on your internet. So I think paying money for it is what's gonna have to happen, because on PC, if you wanted to buy a 24 seven server, you'd have to pay money. As well as this, they are actually hosting it, so it's not free for them to do it. So it's not like they're actually making much of a profit on it, really, because they have to host it, and it costs money to host a server, so that's why it costs money. So I'll probably just like fade out right now and I'll play a little video and I'll show you the rest of the fun that I did on the server. So thank you so much for people inviting me. Thanks for everybody who said hi on the server. It was really great. Um, I love you guys. Um, hope you get into the next beta whenever it is. I'll hopefully make a video or tweet that it's out and you guys should go and get it. So next beta will be um, more people and then slowly they'll open it up to more and more people. And then I believe they delete the servers in a few after a few weeks. I'm not really sure. And then they'll release the next update when you can buy your own servers. So it looks really great, it feels really great, it plays really great, and it's so great that they have it, and I've just had a load of fun on it. So thank you all guys for watching this video, please give this video a like, and subscribe, so goodbye, bye!